welcome to my channel and today I am going to be doing my August wrap up. Now August was quite a good month for me, I read a total of 6 books which is quite good seeing as the first book took me about a week to read because I didn't like it at all. Then I had another book which was quite a big book and then the other 4 books were just all nice quick reads to get me through the month. So let's get started and see what I read. The first book I read was Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Now as we all know this is a book that everybody has to read at least once in their life. I have read it once at school and I decided to read it outside of school as well for read by Zoe's Ostentatious Book Club. I haven't read much of Jane Austen and to be honest I didn't really like the book at school but I've noticed with other classics I've read outside of school that I did enjoy them a bit more. However with Pride and Prejudice I can say that didn't happen. I just found myself waiting for those big scenes, you know, the proposals, Kitty going missing and eloping, and everything in between was just stuff that I didn't care about. But um, I am glad to say that I have read it, and I will be reading Persuasion, which is September's read. I just hope I enjoy it a lot more. I think one of the main issues is the language. I can't get into the rhythm of how Jane Austen wrote it, but hopefully I will like Persuasion a bit better, and at least I can say that I've read it. Now the next book I read was After Alice by Gregory Maguire. Now I just stumbled across this in Waterstones and Gregory Maguire is one of my favourite authors mainly because he wrote the Wicked series and I'm a big fan of that series and I'm a big fan of the musical as well. Another thing I'm a big fan of is retellings of Alice in Wonderland. In this wrap up I have another two retellings of Alice in Wonderland to show you so yeah that is one of my big things at the moment. Now after Alice follows Alice obviously and her friend Ada who follows her down the rabbit hole and then when them two are down in Wonderland you follow Alice's sister and Ada's governess as they're looking for them both. To be honest, I quite liked it. It was nice seeing someone else go down the rabbit hole to see her versions and also to see what happened back on Earth when everyone's looking for Alice because you never really think of that, do you? You just think, oh, they're down in Wonderland and no one else cares. But yeah, it's great to see people worrying about them and you get a few questions in there. It is pretty good and I think it's one of Gregory Maguire's best books. Now, the next book I read is probably one of my favourites of this year and that's Never Night by Jay Kristoff. Now when I got this book in my Illumina Crate box this month, um, I didn't really think much to it. I thought, oh it's going to be a big book, I'm not going to like it. But then I read it and I loved it. The book follows Mia, whose family is torn away from her after young age and she spends all her childhood training up to be an assassin so she can basically murder those people who harmed her family. It's a really good book, there's loads of twists and turns that I did not expect. There's deaths, there's people stabbing each other in the back, and I mean literally stabbing each other in the back. I think this is going to be a trilogy, so I can't wait for the next book to come out, hopefully that will be soon, but I think this book is one that you definitely have to read this year. The next book I read was also from my Lumen Crate box, and that's The Graces by Laurie Eve. Again, like Nevernight, I wasn't expecting to like this book, but in the end, I actually did. It's quite a quick read as well. Basically it follows a girl, I can't remember what her real name is, but in the book they call her River as a nickname. And it follows River in school, she's just moved there and she basically falls in love with the family called the Graces. And everyone believes they're witches due to one day on one of the children's birthdays, something happened and since then there's been a rumour going that they are witches. During the book people go missing and you find out revelations about River and her family. And it is a real good book, it's a nice insight to what might happen in a family that might include witches. And again, I think this might be another trilogy with another book coming out next year. But yeah, you should definitely give this a go. So the last two books are part of the same series, and that is Alice and the Red Queen by Christina Henry. Now, both of these, as you can probably guess, are retellings of Alice in Wonderland, but they are very gory retellings. I would say this is more going on the horror genre. Now it all starts with Alice in an asylum because she has been attacked by a guy with rabbit ears. Of course her parents didn't like this and shoved her in an asylum. There she meets another inmate called Hatcher and then they escape from the asylum because it's set on fire by this Jabberwocky. Then it follows them throughout the old city where they meet Cheshire, the butterfly and also the rabbit. Um, what I find interesting about this story is that those characters, the Cheshire Cat, the Butterfly and the Rabbit are all humans and they are all basically gang leaders of certain territories. There's the Cheshire who deals with secrets and is a magician. There's the Butterfly who is also a magician and he basically runs this weird brothel. And there's one girl there where he's broken her legs and his son Butterfly wings underwear so it is very disturbing. Then there's also the Rabbit who is again deals with 
stealing girls. And there's also the walrus who, who rapes girls and then eats them. So yes, it is very disturbing, but if you like that kind of book, I would read it. The good thing about this book is that it's only about 300 pages, but I find myself every night reading about 100 pages. It's one of those books where you read loads of pages and you don't realise you've read that much, so it is very good. Now with The Red Queen, the second and final book in the series, because this is a duology, it is very different. So spoiler alert, uh, Hatcher and Alice do leave the city, but they find out everything's just ash. And they find this little village which is run by the White Queen. Um, basically this just follows Alice trying to rescue the children who have been stolen by the White Queen and everything just goes from there. Um, the only thing I don't like about this book is that it only has two chapters and that's part one and part two. Nothing in between. But again, like The Rabbit is really fast paced, I ended up reading 100 pages at once and I got through it really quickly. So yeah, it was quite a good book. And I think it would be cool if you maybe made this a trilogy. I really just want to see if Alice and Hatcher get their happy ending. And it'd be cool to see if they did reach where they want to go. That's my August wrap up done for this month. And uh, let's see what September brings. Bye!